Since ancient times, the citizens of Saltania have lived with a shroud of Misa, a force that brings forth monsters creating havoc in around the world. When the king orders the knights become incapable of containing the monsters, the Grand Magnus summons a holy maiden, the legendary saint, to obliterate the horrid creatures and restore peace. On one evening, Seiya Takashina returns home from a long day at work as a magical form pulls her into a foreign world. Upon her arrival to the kingdom of Sultana, she overhears the Grand Master inadvertently summoning two saints, Saya and a brown haired girl. Needing only one holy man, the prince declares the other girls the saint, leaving Sai to her own devices. Sai sets her sights on the Medical Floor Research Institution, an establishment known for its studies regarding herbs and potions. While indulging in her latest passion, Sai has a Facebook account with the commander of the Third Order of Knights. But little does she know her aptitude as a saint will continue to exert its influence over her new life. This anime has about 12 episodes. It premiered April 6, 2021 to June 22, 2021. It does have a second season. Based off a popular light novel, it is fantasy, romance, lights the lights. Each episode is 20 minutes per episode. It is rated PG-13. Now let's get started into the review. This anime in particular really caught my attention because it kind of like flew underneath my radar when I was first like going over my list of animes to review and the saint magic power is ultimate or saint izakai you know another izakai but what's really different about this izakai is that you know we've seen all the izakai where all the characters get turned into just one fantasy world and they got into a role that they either try to fulfill or help around the new environment but in this case you know for the main protagonist Sai is a very interesting character she's barely a happy go lucky one especially when she comes home from a long day at work she gets summoned to another world against her will so this is a different take on Izakai instead of one person getting transported it's two which I kind of feel bad for because the people who summon her they make her feel very you know not agitated but she's very upset and she's never a no but situation angry that she can't go back home but after some time in this new world she decides you know you know she's not gonna be the claim say that they need her to be to save their the world she might as well go into a different endeavor and passion making potions and medicines while she's here because who knows what she can do whenever she could maybe possibly never return home and makes this new life better compared to what she had before in addition to making to meeting new people new friends and slowly learning her own powers and it was definitely interesting to watch her progress and learn magic and use skills of new of learning her biology and making potions to help those around her even though she wasn't chosen as the saint she doesn't let that get to her she tries to help to her best her ability by assisting people and making new friends and i think also with her various expressions was trying to figure out what's going makes her very human get very adorable and this makes her a very interesting character all go around now along with image before there is romance into in this anime but it's not exactly the main thing or that not really is that definitely it's definitely not the focal point in this anime which i'm really glad about it does give the reason to for the slow romance pick to go like the pacing of it it works really well besides between the two characters that you see them trying to put this romantic interest together but it's very slow which i really like i don't want you know it's guy the main can be in straight flow into romance automatically just because i think it's just nice to have a shift focus where she's just focusing on what she's trying to do and you know try to help the people around her which i thought was very interesting um in addition to that that's the slow pacing around her just fine i like how it's not truly the main reason why she's put there to begin with but for me intentionally i think for the world building in saint izakai is that i wish they could delve more into the kingdom about this where she is transported to and then also like the basic like magical elements of spells and potion making and just the different degrees of healing ability without that explain a bit more overall i think the representation of watching side girls a character along to her character develop with her new friends and eventually seeing the other girl who's brought into this world as well and seeing her experiment with very different things in between her powers and trying to find a romance connection in between that but i think overall you just have to really watch this anime for yourself it's Definitely stu like stunning and watching side grow in this character where she like can actually be appreciated for her talent and gifts that are being like run down to the core that she had in her old life. I think overall what I really like about this anime is that the plot is simple, you know, you know, not confusing. I think overall I would like to have seen you know, just more expansion of the town, and the, well not town, the kingdom that she is in, the history behind that, and, you know, more of that backstory of the kingdom and the characters that, that Sai meets along the way. But, you know, they all get introduced in their own time, their own spotlight to help Sai along her journey. And in the 12 episodes, I am excited to see the season two to see where it continues off and to see how Sai continues to help this kingdom that she has her new life in and to see where, like, this journey takes her on to season two. But definitely check out The Saint Magic Power is Omnipotent. I 
thorough love it. I give it like a 9 out of 10. Thoroughly enjoy it, but definitely check it out for yourself and let me know what you think. But until then, see you soon for another anime review. Bye!